I don't know. I think you're wrong. I don't think she deserved it just because what she was wearing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't know why you said it. All right. Welcome back uh, to another episode of the Psych Word Podcast. Um, we were just having discussions and she was saying inappropriate things. Mr. About, Psych just yeah. being as inflammatory as possible at the top of the podcast. <laughs> What's up? Uh, Nana Mooch. How are yeah. you doing? Good, What's good. up with you? Long day as usual, but uh, we had fun today. We golfed together, yeah, yeah. or I golfed, and you knitted in the golf cart. Yeah. And everybody looked at us funny. It was good stuff. Yeah. I know. I like uh, it. We passed by a foursome of women golfers and looked at me like I was being held captive. <laughs> <laughs> I had to over explain to them, just like, wait a minute. She doesn't golf. I'm not just like making her <laughs> knit. She just doesn't golf. She doesn't want to golf. I didn't tell her she couldn't golf. <laughs> I what cage i don't keep her in a cage yeah. <laughs> i hate having to over explain because i don't want people to judge me when in reality She's yeah. naturally docile you've never <laughs> met a more naturally docile person <laughs> it's 91 degrees and she's knitting a blanket in a golf cart you know I think, uh, sipping green tea <laughs> sipping. living her best oddball life flirting with the cart girls <laughs> She's like, what did the cart girl say to you? Something like, uh, she's like, oh, I'm, it's, so, I'm just so happy to see you guys. I just haven't seen anyone. And then you're like, you'll see us again. <laughs> and then she's like, what? The worst. It's just the worst when you try to just say something playful and the person doesn't hear it. And yeah. then it wasn't interesting to begin with. She like with. stopped her cart back. And then up. they have to be like, what was that? And you're like, it was nothing. It was a quip. And there was no purpose. I'm sorry. Go go along on your way. <laughs> oh, man. I bet that doesn't happen to you. That happens to me all the time because I'm so quiet. Oh, yeah. That no, it I never happens to me. <laughs> try to say like a little flirty yeah. fun thing and then the person for the person to have to back up and get close. Yeah. It's mortifying. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that in my life. So I go, what would you say? <laughs> it's never, it's <laughs> never been said to me ever in my entire life. <laughs> People are often just like, yeah, I heard you the first time. <laughs> you, I don't, don't say it I, again. I don't say it again, please. <laughs> but <laughs> I got I'm the. Dead. I was. I've been saying that all day because we went out to grab lunch before we came home and just did a whole bunch of work stuff. And uh, um, the way that cart girl says uh, uh, "white" because <laughs> she has that southern accent. What? Why? Like, do you want the like? Because I was like, "Hey, can I get a Gatorade Zero? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want the blue or the white?" <laughs> so everywhere we went, I was like, "We ordered white beans." I'm like, "I have the white beans." <laughs> I'll have the Alabama white sauce. <laughs> Alabama white white sauce. People I don't are know. I love like, saying that. What? I bet no one has ever misunderstood your name. I bet no one has ever asked if your if your parents can come to the phone. <laughs> if what your parents can come to the phone. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Little girl is your parent home. <laughs> I love it. I like a uh, um must be nice to project. <laughs> yes. Right, well, you know. Tell uh tell your parents, you know, to no, I was thinking about Where something else. Going? Oh no, you, you know what I was about to do? Because I I thought you said something about your name. Because you got a weird your real name is like weird and long. You know, like mm-hmm. you know whatever. But I was about to say that because I you know when you talk on the phone you have to tell somebody this like like uh. uh do you know what I'm saying? I, without saying it, it's hard. You know what I mean. But I was gonna say, tell say you, yeah, I was gonna say, tell your parents to, you know, to, uh, not name you that. You know, so you don't have to sit there and, and like and and tell then, an yeah. operator. Like, and then it's incorrectly you know. spelled. Yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, Maddie for short just does the trick. <laughs> <laughs> Mark it down, boys and girls. The first time Mr. Psych has ever not been <laughs> understood. I know, I know. Well, I realize what we're talking. I'm like, oh man, I can't, yeah, I can't say that. You know what I mean? So, but I think you're good with Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> um, no one will ever know that my name is actually Mad Glomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> Megalomaniac. <laughs> the third. <laughs> Uh, I love it. Um, what were we just talking about? Oh, because we had the football game up on the TV. It was a replay of the Nebraska mm-hmm. Northwestern. And you I was going to ask if I wanted to spend <laughs> the you, yeah. cast talking about. Yeah, yeah. The, the Are you ready? Game. How did Scott Frost do in his first game? What do you think about that well, outside kick? Well, to medium well, <laughs> he's not overrated. He's just rated. <laughs> 
Oh, it's so great. We should do a football podcast. We should. But, uh, that'd be really funny. We do have an idea for a podcast that we're like, I know. We, we were 50 50, but now we're like kind of 90 10 on that we want to do. It'd be more like a weekly podcast, mm-hmm. not so much ASMR. Not, not or, really anything to do with us, but us. we would bring some commentary to it. And guests. You can just say that it's a true crime podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to keep people in the dark. We'll call How Do I Murder My Wife. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that because you're going to end up <laughs> dead sometime. <laughs> They're going to come back and play this one tape and be like, he said it. He's he guilty. Said it. I will never murder my he wife. He said she was too quiet. <laughs> no one ever understood her. How did he draw her in? Well, he said, hey, come a little closer. I can't hear you. <laughs> 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 what was that? <laughs> Uh, dang. No, I would never, obviously. Crying about my own murder. <laughs> so funny Mur- Murder. <laughs> um, hey, somebody sent me this. We we're going to do, you asked uh, what, what, what I wanted to do. Somebody sent uh, a link of like hypothetical yes. couple questions. You had an interesting hypothetical for me. Uh, That's how it started. As we were yeah. setting up the podcast what did i oh i asked you because one of her friends was talking about freezing her eggs or whatever and i was like if i was you know i got snipped years Mm -hmm. ago after our second child um but i said you know if i could would you let me if one if one of your friends said hey i want to have a baby i don't have Mm -hmm. a boyfriend can i use sperm yeah yeah which can i use mr sykes sperm damn we'll bleep it Classic bleeping. Yeah, yeah we'll bleep it. <laughs> Can I use mad glomaniac <laughs> husband's sperm? <laughs> uh, wow, I never said my name on this uh, this podcast. You're before. feeling loose, yeah, Mister Psych. It's the vodka. Um, <laughs> it's that round of eighty today. <laughs> Golf course. Um, yeah, if, they, if she said, "Hey, can I use Mister mm-hmm. Psych's?" Uh, 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 you know stuff <laughs> what did you say it's baby juice yeah it's baby juice <laughs> um i came back with a pretty brisk no i don't think yeah. so because i would feel a connection to the baby as yeah a sibling of yeah. our kids um yeah I'd, what if she just wanted to have sex with me though and had really had nothing to it do was babies. just like an excuse like, yeah then oh, you'd be okay yeah, with it i'm trying to get pregnant <laughs> <laughs> then you'd be okay with it then i'd be okay with it. <laughs> just not the baby <laughs> just not the baby uh, just no babies uh, that friend our good friend who uh might want to have a baby at some point has a really good idea for like a um a bracket style like <laughs> selection process uh-huh. for the sperm donor where she'll have a big party with a bunch of alcohol and everyone will come and review like you know i don't know the sweet 16 oh, of possible review. donors you stop for a second you said everybody will come oh <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> and then what <laughs> they just everyone like, will finish sh- in a cup and then it will <laughs> she'll zhoosh it around <laughs> And you'll just have to guess. It'll be like Who's the movie the Twins. Father? Who's the father? <laughs> that sounds kind of fun. I hope we get to go to that party. I know. I hope so too. I hope she ends up doing that. Yeah. Some of the really nice places, I guess, you can be like, I want a basketball player and I want a, I don't know, poet laureate. And they'll just give you all these different kinds of guys. So she would stack them up against one another. Yeah. Not in real life. Just pictures <laughs> that, of them. All the guys won't be there. <laughs> They won't be like hovering above their pool like with sharks down below. And you just... So straightforward. I just cannot explain. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, it's a on. jizz countdown, you see. <laughs> she, whoever comes first just gets to be the dad. Um, I was looking at these. I was like, some of them are kind of like so easy to answer. Uh, and some of them are kind of plain Jane. Uh, would you rather shop for sex toys or lingerie? Like, What does it matter? I... That's like sex toys yeah right that's more fun oh what would you rather shop for sex toys we've shopped for sex toys before it's Mm -hmm. fun because usually the people behind the counter are our type of people they're cool or you know what i mean you would only answer lingerie if you're uncomfortable with sex toys i think i'm not sure who would pick it's interesting yeah when i was younger i remember shopping with my uh high school girlfriend you know um or 
when we just got out of high school or whatever, like, you know, your first trip to Victoria's Secret with like your girlfriend and what? you buy some like lingerie or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, nothing that I would consider like sexy today. But at that time when you're mm-hmm. young, you're, yeah, it was exciting. But no, <laughs> I've graduated too. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have the uh, <laughs> kidney pounder? <laughs> No, no, the one that vibrates. Yeah, the one that vibrates. Are you crazy? Uh, (laughs) That's not a bad one. Would you rather be on The Bachelor or Bachelorette? Oh, that's interesting. That I feel like that kind of says something about the person answering. Okay. Um, Mr. Psych watches these. I don't watch these. Excuse me? <laughs> Damn it, babe. Don't Damn help it. me like that. All right, go. So I don't know how like, intrusive it is or what the situation is. Well, oh, you don't have to go too deep in it. Would you rather be the girl with that a bunch everyone's that dying you have for a bunch of guys or would you rather be amongst a bunch of girls? And then Essentially one competing. I guess. Uh, I'm making it too complicated. I think I would rather be the bachelorette then yeah you'd rather be the girl i think that's the only answer i I find it really weird for any guy to be like no i want to be one of the 20 guys (laughs) like that just (laughs) seems weird but uh i almost was gonna say i'd rather just be one of the girls and just let it but i can see on the girls shake itself out i can see on the girls point of view like just because you know girls all like each other and they all get to kill around do makeup all that kind of stuff i can say that but for guys Ooh, would you rather never use a dildo again or never use a vibrator again? Never use a dildo again. I knew you would answer that. I'm going vi- no, I'm just <laughs> I won't tell people what I would rather. <laughs> um, <laughs> would you rather have the best sex of your life once or mediocre sex every day? Mediocre sex every day. Right? That's easy. That I feel like yeah. that's so easy too. Because it, it, sex is like pizza, mm-hmm. <laughs> even the bad. Even the bad is still it's pretty still good. Still pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like the best sex of your life. It yeah. couldn't be good enough to justify only having it. Oh, once. I know. Yeah, I don't know. There's I mean, no me, you have mediocre sex all the time, like every night, and that's. <laughs> that's awesome. you, seem to, you seem to like it, so. You don't know. Never get any complaints. <laughs> Never. Mm. It's actually kind of cool. I'm glad they got sent these. I know. I like um, mm-hmm. uh, this uh, something about would you rather use a colorful or, or crazy pattern condom? Don't use condoms. That's why I got. <laughs> 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 Highly recommend it. Um, <laughs> would you rather have sex in your childhood bedroom or childhood basement? I can answer both of these. You're going to say childhood bedroom because your basement where you grew up was like not a basement. It was like a storm cellar. It was a horror show. It's a horror show. Um, And then my childhood bedroom was in my basement. So both. Same season. (laughs) Too easy. Yeah. Would you rather lick ice cream or whipped cream off someone's body? Whipped cream. What would you rather lick? (sighs) Whipped cream for the cleanliness. But if it had to go like what? tastes better or like what do i want yeah. to eat it would be ice cream like if it was like if i could put like a frozen yogurt uh machine like right above your boobs and like swirl it like it's on a you cone do that. i'd go to town but yeah <laughs> no that's um i feel like i can make that happen for you mr psych <laughs> now that i know let's do it <laughs> um uh, can i circle back and ask yeah. you about your vasectomy yeah do you have any regrets about having a vasectomy because we know someone who really regrets it like almost feels that he's less of a man as a result no not at all Uh, i have my two kids i spread my seed um the (laughs) anybody that's had sex with a condom on that's what i would ask you if a guy was asking me i'd be like have you ever had sex with a condom Mm -hmm. on and they said yeah and i'd be like have you ever had sex with a condom off? I said, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, there's a huge difference. <laughs> so it, no, I would, I would do it a thousand times over <laughs> and Fair more and more and more. The only time I would be upset is if for some odd reason, like I don't want to go and reverse it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, if something tragic happened and we need to have like a kid or what, you know what I mean? Like after, but we're past the point. If something like, tragic happened to me and then your new hot wife was like, yeah, I need to have a I need kid. To have a kid. And I'm like, oh man, I got to reverse <laughs> ah, this. Damn it, Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> what you did to me. 
I remember, did I, did I ever tell the story on here when uh, I was getting the vasectomy? I was just basically, I kind of went hardcore with it. Like they wanted, they wanted you to take a Valium uh, and all that kind of stuff. Do you say Valium or Valium? Valium. Valium. I feel like you said it wrong two times. It's interesting. Really? Valium. I just, I just said it once. Oh no. Okay. I see what you're saying. It, when I said it didn't that. sound correct either Okay. Time. Valium. I don't take drugs, Maddie. <laughs> so so Valium, Valium, Valium. Whatever. <laughs> okay. They wanted me to take that. that yeah. And I was like, no. Um, and when I was when like when I was going through the procedure, you know, just to keep my mind off it, because you're numb down there, but you can kind of feel like the tension of like tugging and stuff like that. Like, in, and I'm just yeah. like, ooh. But I'm on a, like a WhatsApp group with all uh, uh, mm-hmm. buddies of mine. And they all like, you know, most of them are like University of Michigan graduates and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I'm talking to the guy and he's like having just conversation with me as he's down there, you know, knuckles deep in my <laughs> nutsack. <laughs> Pardon my friend. <laughs> and, yeah. And then he's like, oh, you support any college football teams? I'm like, well, I like the University of Michigan. And, you know, like I support my wife's school that she went to, too, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, yeah, well, I'm an Ohio State grad. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man. I go, well, <laughs> yeah. hey, just. If you screw up, there's going to be more uh, <laughs> Michigan fans. More Wolverine fans. Yeah, just yeah Wolverine fans just running around. So I mean, yeah, please don't screw up. But then I'm, I'm talking about. I, so immediately I go in my chat. I'm like, I'm like, yo, my doctor's an Ohio State grad, and all of them immediately are like, he's probably the fucking janitor. <laughs> Get out of there, you know, or like whatever. It's I'm not like, oh, legit. God. It's not legit. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> oh, that's great. But good shit talking, baby. I know. I know. Excellent. He was a nice guy. He fondled my junk very well, <laughs> very um, professional. Doc, be gentle. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't. I don't regret. It. I wish I would have did it because I know like guys do it now. They um, they make a whole weekend out of it. They they like get a vasectomy on like Thursday in the beginning of the Masters, mm-hmm. and then they all just hang out together and they have the whole weekend off where their wives can't tell them to do anything and they just watch golf all weekend. Yeah, with their with their junk all Why swollen and stuff like would that. Would you not play it know, around? I know a but, major tournament like that. Stupid. <laughs> Instead, my mom picked me up. <laughs> You're at I home. did. I, well, we had a baby and a toddler at the time, and yeah. I asked your mom to come down to and help. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "What the hell?" I um, think it was one of my more boss moves because usually I'm like, "Oh, I can handle everything myself." Yeah, but no, I did ask good. your I mean, mom to come mind, down and help. Whatever. It does sound kind of shitty in retrospect. <laughs> I'm like waddling I'm out of there. I'm not gonna deal with all mom, of this. My balls are fine. Thank you for asking. Like. Uh, I don't need an ice bag. Yeah, I don't need an ice bag. Um, all right. I, I, would you rather wear lingerie every day or never wear a bra again? Never wear a bra again, right? Yeah. I mean, you don't like bras. I don't so like I'm surprised you're wearing one right now. Bra you're wearing a bra, and, and I don't know if anybody can see, you're still poking through. Like everybody's like, wear a bra. I know. You're still poking we through. We have a, I think we've talked about this on yeah, the Yeah, we cast, talked about it a million times. Yeah, we, still. we have a picture where I'm wearing a full coverage bra and a t-shirt and a sweatshirt, and you very plainly can see my yeah, nipples. There. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, well, definitely wash right every day. Yeah. Um, what would you rather wear? <laughs> I don't know. Um, would you rather kiss your ex or your mortal enemy? Same person. <laughs> Not really at all. Um, I kiss my ex. I still like my ex. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm friends with them. That's, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Who would you rather kiss? Oh, Why would you want to kiss your mortal enemy? I don't get it. I don't get it either. <clears throat> Who would have a mortal enemy? Do you have a mortal enemy? My mortal enemy, Bella Hadid. <laughs> <laughs> I would make out with her. Yeah, I mean, I don't Harry know. Styles, <laughs> my mortal my enemy. Mortal enemy, Ed Helms. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. What's another one? Would you mm-hmm. would you rather come after one minute or take an hour to come every time? Uh, I feel that's different males to females because I think there's more of a stigma if you're a male. Not for me. And you come in one minute, <laughs> not for you. <laughs> I'll come in one minute. No, it's fine. Yeah, there's it's no almost stigma too for long. Yeah, it's almost too long. <laughs> minute twice in a minute <laughs> um 
I, and man, if I had to take an hour every time, I'd be pissed. I'd rather do a minute. Like if it was my mm-hmm. choice, it's like, hey, look, this for the rest of your life, it's either an hour or a minute. Mm-hmm. I'd be like a minute. I can't like, is it, like if, an hour is a long time. <laughs> like I'm halfway through my life. <laughs> if every time I had sex was an hour, and you add that up through the year, that's uh. like that's like a couple years off my life (laughs) you have to like plan your day so you didn't get horny like some days we didn't have enough time yeah no in a minute you would have to be a minute why would you want to have why would a girl want to have sex over an hour it would be a minute yeah a minute right i mean yeah if you could get it accomplished in a minute just to also pull in all the times when you just feel like masturbating like i just want to masturbate and fall asleep you know i don't have an hour to do that in yeah does that sound bad no it's not bad a minute I love myself, but you know, oh, there are limits. Man. Um, wait, how, would you rather sleep with your boyfriend's sibling or your best friend's sibling? Let's just say yeah. your sibling then. That's just weird. That's like your sister-in-law or mm-hmm. brother-in-law. My best friend's sibling. Yeah. I don't know. That's just a weird question. Would you rather kiss a coworker or friend? Or lame, lame. Uh, <laughs> would you rather have your roommate catch you masturbating or having sex? Both. Uh, having, I don't know. Probably having sex. I'd rather have. Yeah, I'd rather be. I'd rather be caught having sex because it's like <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely much, for a guy. You'd yeah. rather not be caught. Yeah, just yeah. Jerking off. I mean, I don't. I don't mind getting. I. You know I me. Mean? I don't mind getting any of that shit. Like, oh, or like if somebody walked in on me at any point, like <laughs> masturbating, I'd be like, yeah. I was so yeah. It's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> Unapologetic, but it's just more. It's just more better. Like not more better. Mm-hmm. It's is that a way you don't say more better. It's just better mm-hmm. that, uh, um, that there's less of an embarrassment factor. Yeah, because you're like getting some. You're like yeah, you know, yeah. Oh no, like, she was hot. She was hot. I was taking care of her. Yeah. <laughs> she was loving um, it. <laughs> ooh, here's a good one. Would you rather? Watch porn every night forever or never watch porn again? Oh, I actually find that quite difficult. Really? <clears throat> I don't. Really? Yeah. I think I would rather. They were talking about this. We listened to the new Two Bears, One Cave today, and they had such an interesting conversation about porn uh-huh. and how it could be better to just give it up and let your mind be stimulated elsewhere. Like, just have a sexy thought, get turned on by someone that you see, you know, not act on it, but just let yourself be you creative. Let other thing, like, like the Sears catalog was born yeah. for a while. Yeah. I get mm. it. It would be a, it'd be a hard detox. It would be hard. I'm my first instinct was to say, I'd rather watch porn every day than yeah, never watch no, you it might again. Have, you might've converted me. I get it. Yeah. But they were just saying but yeah, I guess, like mental health wise, it's just, it, okay. A lot of things you see are unrealistic yeah. and then you take that back to your relationship and you end up disappointed. Like, oh, you didn't want me to fist you? Like, I, I saw in this video, this girl was really into it. Like, why are you not like, what I expect? Are you retiring? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Are you trying to be subtle yeah, about what yeah. you don't want to do tonight? Um, um, but no, I'm not being as eloquent as they were being. But no, it, I, no, I absolutely get what you're saying. I absolutely yeah. get what you're saying. Um, yeah, maybe, yeah, you might've converted me because I, yeah, I don't actually even watch that much porn. Mm -hmm. I'm married to you and Mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I, our sex life is never like whenever we want to have sex, we have Mm -hmm. sex. There's, there's never like, yeah. I mean, I could count maybe we've been married almost 14 years now, like maybe on one hand and I don't need all the fingers to the times where I was just like, (laughs) Hey, you want to have sex? And then you're just like, I, we really can't tonight or I really can't like. Mm-hmm. you know either at, even I, I mean thought yeah. that was interesting too because they talked about what like I think Bert asked Tom what's the percentage that you say I want to do this and your wife is like no that we're not doing that or that's not on the table and they were like well, maybe it's like it's 15% yeah. and I was thinking to myself I bet it's like count on a hand the time oh my I'm gosh like, no, yeah you're at 99% percent of of Aww. being yes for nice, everything baby. yeah yes appreciate that speaking of Bert <gasps> I got my sandals Ayo. on <laughs> man I want free some waters. lady free water slides I need to I've had them in a cart order them online for like <gasps> you went to you went to a cart put something in a cart 
we own Abandoned a business it. where people put CBD candies into a cart and leave them. Mm. And you would do that to somebody else? I know. <laughs> I hate when I do that. I was talking to <laughs> the, our web guy the other day. You know, he's going through the stats and mm-hmm. it's like, oh, you know, you got these people who started a cart but didn't check out yet and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. I'm like, who would do that? <laughs> My wife would do that. What I know. I do that, that so much. So bad. <laughs> I know. I was trying to buy some play tickets. Oh, that's way off topic. And I went to look at them today and they're all gone. I was like, man, what play? freaking when I want something, why do I not pull the trigger on it? I don't know. Why? You do that a lot. I do it so much. Yeah. I wait on things. Have you have you ever worn my free waters? By the way, Those yes, thanks. They're nice. They are really comfy. I, you know what was weird in the very beginning because Bert talked them up a lot, and I'm like, ooh, we, we got to get them right. And you ordered two pairs. We bought two pairs. Um, I didn't like them at first mm-hmm. because I had my old go to, kind of similar to probably these are his go to, mm-hmm. and they got worn down, and they, they were so comfortable. Had some, like, old so it, it just it felt weird on the bottom of my foot. I'm like, uh. uh. But I was like, I'm, I, you know, I'm pulling through. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then mm-hmm. I wore them and like wore the like the, the soles out, you mm-hmm. know, excuse me. So when they get like this where they're shiny and the mm-hmm. leather or whatever that is gets like that, that's when they get really comfortable and they're like freaking great. They're you know? formed yeah. to your toes. And then we even got Bert on the. I love it. Um, <clears throat> But anyway, uh, yeah, so. I, I'm back to the whole porn thing. That's what yeah, we're talking about. Yeah, I had something to say about that. Too. But you, you, no, you mm-hmm. definitely are the type of person that's like, uh, um, um, yes, 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 yes. I don't know if it's a people pleasing thing or, but yeah, I've never see, been like, see. there's never been like, you know, all the jokes like, ooh, do you, here's two aspirin. What are you giving me these for? I don't have a headache. And like, aha, I gotcha. You know, like, like <laughs> I've never heard that. You joke. never heard that joke? Maybe it's like an old like Playboy That's joke or whatever. Funny. Like, yeah, the husband will offer mm-hmm. two aspirin for her his wife's headache. Mm-hmm. She's like, what are you talking about? I don't have a headache. And he's like, all right, I'm just making sure, you know, because he's gonna ask for sex mm-hmm. or whatever. But um, no, I just is that a humble brag? Now that I'm thinking about that, that I'm like, yeah, my wife. <laughs> We'll just have sex whenever. She never do. ever turns me down. I've yeah. not ever been turned down. I've never been turned down. <laughs> Partially kind of because I'm so sexy, but I it get says it. says something about you too. And you're very, I just, I think you're very thoughtful. Thank you. Romantic. How many times do I turn you down? <clears throat> yeah. um, I don't think I ever have. I don't think you probably ever have. Ever. Yeah. Maybe there's been like yeah. a like a two drunk situation but that's rare Jesus, that's baby. like <laughs> less than what I like am. i couldn't get it up or something no <laughs> no that's not maybe there's been a two drunk situation <laughs> but maybe other than that whiskey dick <laughs> did you just did you just whiskey dick me no <laughs> jesus no. come on baby <laughs> Um, or no, where I ju- you talking not. about where I just like will fall pass out and fall asleep when you're horny? Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay, All right. well, okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> it's possibly. It's never a lack. Who of fed me those drinks when we were out? <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> um, Who laughed at my drunken jokes, therefore encouraging me? Oh, I was gonna say. Keep going. I'm just reading. Something I'm way. Here. I'm way past the point. Probably to circle back to the no, porn yet again. Back. But. It's not exactly porn, but you often will watch something of mine, like a video that I made, and I find that really flattering as an alternative to... Regular porn? Like, yeah, Pornhub yeah. or just something random. Because you're hot. It's nice. Well, uh, um, uh, when we were listening to Two Bears today, uh, Bert <laughs> said he uh, likes watching porn uh, that reminds him of Leanne mm-hmm. or porn stars that remind him of Leanne. And I'm the same way. And I'm, I bet there's a lot of guys out there that are the same thing too. They're, uh, mm-hmm. um, it's, uh, like I'll watch, uh, like if, if I'm watching a porn video, I'll like do a blonde big boobs or whatever. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I'll like take out my contacts or squint. So it's a little fuzzy. <laughs> yeah. So it's a little fuzzy. And so I think it's, it's you. Cute. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I thought it was you. Oh, is this not you? Yeah. Oh, is this not you? <laughs> Um, Let's yeah, see. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think guys mm-hmm. do that. They like when they love somebody, they just start to love things about, mm-hmm. um, like similar qualities and other people. Right. Like if that makes sense. Yeah. So my first girlfriend was tall. I, I've rarely dated a shorter girl. Mm-hmm. Like I say shorter, like, you know, like super, super short. Most everybody I've, uh, 
dated or whatever have been semi tall. Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I mean, it's what we do. Yes. What do, what that's what us good men do. Just... We watch porn that reminds us of our wives. <laughs> I mean, what else? <laughs> what, what do you expect from us? <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> devotion. Jesus Christ! Come on. All right, let's see if we can get a couple more of these. Um, some of them are kind of big. Would you rather be single forever or date someone with no interest in sex? What the? F- that's that's a dumb question. Who gives a shit about either of those? <laughs> um, uh, <clears throat> no, no, these are all. No, find me like find us like two more good ones. All right, let's bring it home. All right. These some of these are like written by like like f- like a fifteen year old girl. Like, would you rather do this with your ex or this? Like, I, mm-hmm. I haven't had an ex in so long. Like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather see a nude person? Uh, here's would you oh, rather these, be naked forever or never naked? <laughs> would you rather fart or burp every time you orgasm? <laughs> burp, right? Burp. Yeah, we know somebody that that. Uh, when she comes, she uh, gags, gags, or whoa, choke, yeah, like, chokes, like a cough, like a <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hot though; it's endearing. Oh yeah, no, it's super sexy. Because you know what the best thing about it? That's the best thing when girls have that. Mm-hmm. They have that uh, um, like the signal. It's like a tell. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. It's There's a tell. No yeah, yeah. There's that. no faking that. You know, like you know, she's not just gonna be like, oh yeah, I came so hard. I didn't hear you cough. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> yeah. You know, a fake cough. It's not like. <laughs> 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 I got the black lung pop. <laughs> um. Hmm. There was a couple. Uh. uh there. They, <clears throat> these are getting kind of bad now that I think about it, but uh <laughs> would you rather join the mile high club or have a threesome? Done both, baby. No, <laughs> <laughs> Not to I would never have sex on an airplane. I think I knew that you would never do that. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, yeah. Well, okay. Let me rephrase that. If there was a private jet, mm-hmm. Or whatever, I, and it was just like okay, mm-hmm. yes, I'd do it. But on like a commercial no, aircraft, because if never... I'm go if I'm flying somewhere, it's not like for it's for like to go on a vacation. Last thing I want to do is be like, like I'm going to Hawaii, and I'm like just because like what I'm like two hours away from having sex in a hotel room, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get arrested <laughs> <laughs> on a plane flight for breaking federal laws. Like no. <laughs> There's a lot of laws that stop me from doing things because I'm afraid of going to jail. You have to tell your mom like why you came home four days early and she doesn't have to watch the kids anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys don't have to babysit there anymore was because a problem with the plane. Yeah, we'd it be like the Griswolds. Specific to us. <laughs> Remember they get caught in the toilet and they come out with like blue uh, legs and. I love that one. That's Vegas vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She tells him at a hotel check-in that they have a wonderful dry cleaning service. And he goes, oh, it's a birthmark. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love that line. It's oh, my God. <laughs> but it's on his shirt as uh, well. It's the best. There's been some events. Honestly. Well, uh, there was something that just popped up. And we're like, that is like one of the greatest lines ever. What was that? Oh, oh, I know what it was. It was we were I was showing the we we, we had the. We were listening to a Fly on the Wall podcast when we were, tra- where were we traveling with the kids? We we're in the car. Mm-hmm. We we're going down to Florida. We were, yeah. Um, and uh, we were listening to Fly on the Wall and Dana Carvey and them were talking about old SNL bits, with, you know, because that's what the podcast is. Mm-hmm. Hello, you know. But they were talking. <laughs> about, and so we started writing down all the stuff and uh, uh, that we wanted and to show like the kids. Toons is the driving cat. Toons is a driving cat. Deep Thoughts with Jack Handy, like all those, which the kids loved. I forgot how funny those were. And the other one was Massive Head Wound Harry, if anybody's <laughs> ever seen it. It's with Dana Carvey. 
uh, goes to a party and he's got a massive head wound and everybody at the, and he shows up at the party and everybody is like <laughs> everybody's like oh my god you know and he and he bends down to pick something up and he puts his giant bloody wound into the shrimp and the and the shrimp stick to it and he puts on a hat you know it's, he's getting a little woozy and he has to like sit yeah. down on the couch and, you no know, he lays down on the couch and he puts his head down on the white couch it, the whole skit is so funny but the best line in it because they had a dog <laughs> in the sketch and they like whoever the costume designer rubs some baby food because they wanted the dog to come up to lick it well the dog comes up and licks it but take it ends up taking like a bite of it and it's like pulling trying to pull the mm-hmm. wig off of Dana Carvey's head and he's laying there you know trying not to laugh holding his <laughs> his head in place and then after the dog finally goes away and I don't think I guess everybody in the background was starting to laugh but it was kind of zoomed mm-hmm. in on Dana Carvey but he's just I don't know if it was ad libbed. I can't remember what they said, but he goes after the whole ordeal when he's like trying. He goes, "I think I think he smells my dog." <laughs> <laughs> I said that's one of the greatest lines I've ever heard on Saturday Night Live ever in history. It's like I think he smells my dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was like, so funny. It's hard to handle how funny Dana Carvey is. Like, it's yeah. honestly ridiculous. Oh, if you haven't watched, we both watched it. If you haven't watched the um, documentary on Hulu called Too Funny to Fail about the Dana Carvey show, you are completely missing out. It is one of the best, like, little short documentaries of, like, Agreed. Uh, that show had him, Louis C. Louis C.K., C.K. Colbert, um. Uh, oh, I'm spacing on his name. Who uh, does Triumph the Insult Comic Dog? Oh, that's a uh, um Robert Schmeigel. Yes. Uh, no, the the, the Office. Steve Carell. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so you have you have Schmeigel, Steve Carell, Dana Carvey, um Stephen Colbert. You, all, it was yeah, everyone's like first job. Yeah, it is insanely funny. Like one of the funniest parts, and I know this clip made its round on social media, and I knew it would because it's so funny. Like uh, Robert Smigel is talking about like some. He's talking about something, and like the network execs tell him they can't do some case too, but you got because they followed Home Alone, which was the number one show in America. Home Improvement. They follow Home oh, Improvement. Oh yeah, not Home Alone. No, Home Improvement. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. They follow <laughs> Home Improvement and Smigel's never seen it before. So he's talking. He's doing this interview. He's like, yeah, so one day I decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to sit down and watch this show, you know, and, and see, you know, because he's like, Tim Allen, he's a you know, used to deal coke. Like he's a, mm-hmm. he's a edgy comedian, whatever. And he watches a show and watches out like family friendly it is and he's just like (laughs) oh shit like what are we putting these people through you know that are following but they they take a commercial from uh like abc that's advertising home improvement and then the dana carvey Mm -hmm. show and the joke was the dana carvey show started out sponsored by like taco bell and dr pepper and all this stuff Mm -hmm. and they uh it after every episode because they did something crazy they'd lose a sponsor and they'd go down or you know right, <laughs> to like diet you know, slice to, yeah to <laughs> diet slice or what di- and so they're they're showing they, finally they showed everybody that was doing you know the interview they showed it to Colbert uh Smigel and all that they showed them like a lead in to the show or advertisement show mm-hmm. so it was like this week on a special home improvement and it was one where like one of the little kids might have cancer and he's like i don't want to die dad and, and the dad tim allen's, t- like, yeah, tim allen's like crying and they're hugging and then and then it cuts to like followed by an all new diet all new dana carvey show presented by diet dr pepper or diet mountain dew and when the guys saw that they started laughing so hard because it was like Diet Mount, Mountain Dew presents the Dana Carvey show. And it was right after this like heartwarming moment. But uh, it, that was like the viral moment of that whole documentary that kind of went around. But it is just so funny. And anybody that doesn't watch it, I feel bad for you. It's because it, you Agreed. see these comic geniuses, you know, and how they they did actually put out a good show. But it was just it I was. don't think the world was ready for it. Like kind of like Arrested Development. Remember mm-hmm. when we watched that? Like it that came out in what? Two thousand three ish? Yeah. It was so far ahead of its time. 
Arrested, the show Arrested Development was so far ahead of its time. Yeah. And Fox only kept it on for like three seasons, I mm-hmm. think. You know, or two and a half seasons. Then it got such a massive following yeah. on DVD. And yeah, it was insane. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the amount of talent that they had on that, that show. Um, yeah, I don't know. Agreed. Recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> Highly recommend. Rest Hi. Development and Too Funny to Fail. Those are Mr. Sykes' recommendations. That's the takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> what are your show recommendations? Do you have any? Um, <laughs> man, I've been loving what we do in the shadows <laughs> for a <laughs> minute <weird>. now. <laughs> um, been getting you into it. That is on FX. That is on FX. And we just watched uh, on FX the uh, we Welcome to Wrexham yeah. with uh, Rob McElhenney and... Yep. Deadpool. Yep. Which I'm always a big, it's always funny in Philadelphia fan. So. Yeah. That was like pretty good. That. Yeah. Um, I like it a lot. What else have we been watching? I haven't been watching very much. I frustrate everyone in my life because everyone tells me what By to everyone watch. you mean me. Well, yeah, you. Yeah. And another close friend of ours tells yeah. me shows like on a weekly basis. And I mostly film at night, edit at night. Do DMs. There's always work to do at night yeah. after I get the kids to bed, and I just don't watch anything. I watch Thirty Rock over and over and over. Yeah. As I'm falling asleep, because because yeah. you like it. I know it by heart, and it comforts yeah. me. Yeah. Well, I get on you because like there's mm-hmm. so, like you have to catch up on Better Call Saul, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And, and I get on you because I'm behind on Ozark. I'm behind on Stranger Things. Like uh, there's nothing yeah. I'm caught up on. Yeah. Yeah. To but when you do watch something, you watch some like off brand British time travel <laughs> show and then uh, God knows what even streaming service I it's do. on. And I'm like, you have so much quality stuff to catch up on. I, I why did. are you watching? I was this? watching a BBC time travel movie. Yeah. Which was pretty dope and weird. But I was like forty five minutes into it. Yeah. But that was like my once a month. No, I get it. TV but I want to talk to you but about yeah, it. Yeah, you came wanna, home and you're like, yeah. I'm fucking I'm trying to yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you about Better Call Saul and yeah. you, you're watching this and, and you're, you're watching joking this. me. Yeah. It's the struggles of marriage. People don't get married yeah. because your show watching will just start going like this. Even if your wife never turns you down for sex, barely ever, yeah. she will frustrate you because she she's three seasons behind on Stranger <laughs> Things. Yes. Like, who, that should, you know who what? doesn't know what's going on? That should be a goddamn things. hypothetical. Would you rather have a wife that fucks you all the time or be behind three seasons on Better Call Saul? And I'm like, oh. Or, or or be caught up on Better Call Saul. That's what it should be. Ooh. I'll take caught up on Better Ooh. Call Saul. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh man! Oh. All right, guys. Well, leave a comment if you disagree. <laughs> if you would rather just wait. Are you ending this podcast already? Oh no, I'm not ending it. it. Oh, That's okay. just. Uh, yeah, leave. Yeah, please just comment. Just a call for engagement. Please, a, uh, you know what? Leave a comment with a good hypothetical mm-hmm. question. We're a little after 11 right now. Yeah. This is a good hypothetical show. Um, okay. This one for guys, I, I saw it on one of the Barstool ones, uh, the hypotheticals that they do answer the internet. It was like, mm-hmm. would, you, would you switch your cock size with your foot size or shoe size? That makes sense. In terms of inches? No, meters. Yeah, inches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's inches. Like would you so it if your dick was this big and your shoes were this big, would you, you would swap them. Have, so that means your feet would you be this have big. Super small feet, but like a big cock. Yeah. Um And then it's not for me to answer. No, would I know. you would you do that? No. I'm happy no. with mine, yeah. I don't need it. Same Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would just be weird, like, like, yeah. like, you know, unless somebody has like a bigger dick than their feet, which is crazy, because then they would yeah. go opposite, you know. They would rather make it smaller. Yeah, there must be guys that would rather have a smaller dick than what they have. Really, I really think. You know what? In, I mean, I think there's like, no, I don't say weird, there but like outliers. outliers, like okay, majority of guys would love to have a bigger dick than what they have I yeah think. i think that's like more of a porn thing but yeah who was the person because we say husband dick a lot like yeah. uh, who's the it wasn't a porn star was i think it was like bobby lee's girlfriend 
who maybe or was a porn star Bobby one point. Lee's girlfriend's friend. Yeah, or something where they use the term husband dick. Yeah. And then somebody was like, you and it's just like perfect. Like you can get it every day. Yeah. It's not too much. It's a sh- it's the girl was on Bert's podcast. It was like a short little girl. She's mm-hmm. a comedian. Kind of looks like 15 years old, but mm-hmm. she's not. Maybe she's Polish or something like that. Well, she's a cutie. Yeah. Yeah. She was cool. But yeah, they use the term husband I dick. I not think of her name. Yeah. And, um, and that, yeah, it's just, it's the, it's like not too hot, not too cold porridge. It's just like, it's mm-hmm. just right. It's something you come home to every day. Goldilocks you know, cock yeah, go, would yeah. be another way Yeah, Goldilocks cock. That's a good one too. Express it. Um, so yeah, I think most guys should be happy with that. But yeah, no, every mm-hmm. guy is, because it's a porn thing. Like what, you know, I could, yeah, I would, I would definitely mm-hmm. want 10 inches. Yeah, I fucking mm-hmm. every girl. But I think like when you talk to like just a normal girl that's walking down the street and not like just some like crazy like nymph or whatever. And you're like, would you want a 10 inch cock like every day of your life? Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Well, at least they all say no, but <laughs> maybe they're all in a back room going, can you believe they asked that stupid question? <laughs> of course I would. I'm not going to be out here hurting feelings, yeah, but yeah. it's pretty obvious that I would do. <laughs> You should. You said nymph instead of nympho, and it was making me giggle thinking about like say? a fairy in the forest. <laughs> what did I say? You said like a nymph. Nymph, like a nymphomaniac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, normally you say nympho. No. You do. Yeah. I do, or the general public. The general public says nympho. A nymph is like resides in the forest. Oh, and really? Flutters about. Is that <laughs> yeah. a fairy? Yeah, like a fairy. Really? Yeah. The word nymph means like a fairy? Yeah. Wow. N Y M P H. I know. Make, I've that, used, I've, make that your first Wordle guess I do tomorrow. use it. I do use it in Wordle. <laughs> I figured you did. Yeah. Nymph. Okay. Nymph. No, it's interchangeable. People call people you that one. So? Well, nympho Could just be. has like, it's like an 80s. Like, use a nympho. Is that like a throwback? But you can say nymph. People know what you're talking about in Nymph. the context of the sentence. In the context of wanting to get things all the time and not flutter about from yeah. <laughs> branch to branch. Jesus. Um, all right. Well. I love it. Too funny. I love it. I do think there are guys. Like, I don't know if we know someone who said this or if I've just read like in my dick's too big, like true. It was on Howard Stern. That's what I was going to bring up. There's a guy yes. in Howard Stern, I think it's Jonah Fal- Falcon or Falco or something yeah. like that. He like he used to go on a lot. They used to fuck with him because he hosted a New York Yankees public access uh, show. Yes. And he had like a 15 inch dick. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think he always used to say he hated it. And then there was another guy that got beat up playing basketball because oh because his dick was so big it, they thought he was hard they thought he was hard when yeah. he was like like you know chesting up uh, yeah. you know or, or you know or boxing not boxing out but you know what i mean guarding and they're mm-hmm. bumping and they bump into his dick and they actually beat him up like you fucking hard you know yeah like, yeah, yeah. Wish he had a big and dick. he wished yeah he didn't have That's one like that. yeah <laughs> can you it's imagine having to explain struggle. that <laughs> yeah my cock is just giant i'm not aroused that's sad. Yeah. No, I know. I've heard guys say like, "Oh, girls get hurt," or you know, I can't go like all the way. Yeah. And it sucks. Well, they never get. Yeah, they never get the feeling of like. Yeah. Going all the way in, which can you imagine? Your whole life, you never get a feeling like no. that. No. Having to like be really careful every time, I feel like would be. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a heavy burden. What What do you think the girls? What's a girls? Uh, um wish because like yeah guys are like oh yeah man i wish i had a bigger dick or whatever what's a girl's mm-hmm. wish what do you think um, i don't think it's genital related i think it's like don't say what you normally say be smarter i get it you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i wish i had a better yeah. sense of humor yeah be smarter better <laughs> sense of humor all that stuff yeah i get it i get it no i think it's just like oh i just wish i had a perfect body like i just wish but what's like, a perfect body for like it's different for different girls. I think it used to be more like everyone wanted to look like Pam Anderson or everyone wanted to look like, I don't know. I can't pull it out. Elle McPherson yeah. or like just like, you know, back in yeah. the day, I think there was one. But now I think some girls are like, oh, I want to look like Zendaya or, oh, I want to look like this. Yeah. You know, but I think every 
girl would change something about her body if she could. What are you changing? I don't know, man. Um, I don't like my legs very much. I don't think really? I have good legs. Yeah, I would I change things about legs. my legs. I would be like perfectly hourglass. Yeah, perfect hourglass. Like the pinup, or are you like a pinup, but like a super snatched waist and just. You'd have a super snatch. <laughs> I would have a super snatch. Oh my god! <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> I'd be like an X Men recruit. <laughs> this is super snatch. What does she do? What's up, well. Mystique? <laughs> do you want to hang? <laughs> Girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> That'd be good. All right, yeah. So you change. You basically, so you're basically saying girls would change. Like, it's not like genital reality. They're not like I want a tighter vagina. Yeah, I don't because girls like that. Too, right? I think most guys would be like, oh, I wish I had a bigger dick. Like, yeah. I don't think guys are that worried about like pecs, abs, every other aesthetic thing. Yeah. And I think most girls would be like, oh yeah, I wish like. I don't have a cellulite. I wish I had this. I wish I had that. Yeah. I think. Not to project my Ladies, stuff. chime in. What Ladies, would you chime in. If you made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Mm. Uh, if I had to change something about myself. Oh, you should also change something about me after. This is a good hypothetical. Oh, okay. If I had to change something about you. Mm-hmm. I'd, tur- I'd turn you into L. McPherson, I think. Yeah, yeah no, I yeah. see. <laughs> um, let me see. Let me see. Love your boo. Like if I'm going sexual, I love your boo. I love everything like about that. Um, you can change anything. I don't think I'm gonna get like an honest answer, especially not on the cast. You don't think you get an honest answer for me? No, you're always honest. You're two front teeth. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, nah, man, I don't know. I love, I love so much about you. I love your ears that you don't like sometimes. Uh, um, uh, I think this isn't, I don't think this exercise is going to get it us to It would be no, a, no, the change, it would be more of a, it would be more of like an attitude Personality. Thing. Yeah, personality <laughs> thing. Yeah. But not like your overall personality, mm-hmm. just more of a, um, because you're so successful, you're so smart, you're so beautiful that like sometimes you take a back seat in a public situation where just like I want to be like you're you're more successful than every single person in this room. Like mm-hmm. stand up. It, you know, if something's not going right, you say no, fuck this. This ain't going right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And you yeah. just and, and you do that and and just, like to be a serf. Now, I don't want you to do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I would just, like you to stay in your lane. Yeah, but stay in your lane when it comes to me. People, but yeah, well, like other people, you know, just be a uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, you can put me in my place too. I'm just joking. I'm dead. I've heard you say something yeah. like that before. Yeah. Well, because, you know, so I, I don't know if it, like, again, I don't know if it's a military me or whatever, but like sometimes when I'm just like, you know, I'll give you hand signals. Like even when we were out golfing with the kids the other day, um, you know, I'm like, I'm like doing the turn around, Mm -hmm. come here, go there, like telling you where to drive the Mm -hmm. cart. And I'm like, and you were being kind of hesitant. I'm like, let's go (laughs) drive. And then I was annoyed. I was like, it's my first fucking time. I don't know what you, where you think I'm going. I was like, it's not a NASCAR. Like it's not, you're not going to go, you know, you're not going to flip it or whatever. Just drive. (laughs) But, um, but then again, it's part of it's cute when you do that too. But mm-hmm. like, I just, I just never, if somebody's screwing you over, like somewhere out in public, mm-hmm. I want you to be like, no, 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 you're not doing that. Mm-hmm. This is, I'm, you know, mm-hmm. I'm me. Fuck you. You know, hmm. like that. So that's I get it. I have the capacity to do that for other people, yeah. but I can't, sometimes I can't do that for yeah. myself. Like, What would you change about no, me? No, 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 no. I would make you Joey Chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> You'd make you fatter and eat more. That's unfair. That's so unfair. <laughs> you know what is funny is you only can say that because it's the opposite of what. Oh, of what's like 
ex- socially socially acceptable. Am, am I saying that right? Yeah. Like if you were just like, I wish you were skinnier or whatever. I wish Everybody you were Tom like, Brady. Ugh. I wish you were a little taller. Yeah, like and that. You had type like of thing. six pack. And yeah. people would be like, fuck. Her. Yeah, people be like, fuck her, what a bitch. But you want me to get like fatter and then eat like 67 hot dogs in nine minutes or whatever Joey Chestnut does. Joey Chestnut's relatively fit for how many hot dogs he can eat in a short amount of time. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Um, So yeah, you would make me, is that what you're saying? You'd make me heavier? No, I wouldn't. There's a give and take in it because it wouldn't make you happy. I'd already like... We're already coming back to our, and we've done many, you know, waves. <laughs> Rolling with the homies. We rolled with the homies so much. Do you think anybody gets that? We won't even say it. If you get that, Rolling with the homies. I guarantee you like half the people watching. You think so? That. We got some older viewers. Yeah. Okay. All right. What was it's the 90s. Rock. Rolling with the homies. <laughs> so dumb. The girl that said it is dead now, by the way. Sad. Sad. Rip. B-Murph. Rip um, B-Murph. How is that going with that? Oh, we're, we've we gone through a lot of like, not ups and, like, <laughs> weight mm-hmm. ups and downs. To, to today, Julia. We've, <laughs> we've over and over in our almost nearly 14 years, holy crap, of being married, been like, oh, I'm just eating, you know, I'm snacking, I'm gaining weight on your side oh, yeah. and then like no it's too much we got it we're gonna work out we're gonna meal plan yeah. and it goes and goes over and yeah. over and we've just hit to where today you were like yeah we got i gotta lose weight i need to yeah, work well, out and i'm like oh we can meal plan we can do this we can do that and then it goes and you know yeah. and then it and well, then it's the holidays I, and it yeah it's my, up my summertime like i don't like to give up summer times i don't like to be like no, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Like summertime, I have I'm to drinking. Go to boot camp three days. A week. Yeah, I'm. Dr- I'm still. We still work out in the summertime, but yeah. I'm like I'm drinking. I'm eating. I'm like drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, I just like we have a certain we have a finite amount yeah. of 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 summers on this we earth. We had a good summer, you know. Yeah, it, it's like it's what I you know. Yeah, I like it. My new time, man. With that being said, I appreciate all the times when you've been like, oh, okay, it's summer. I'm going to do whatever. Oh, okay, it's the holidays. I'm going to eat cookies. Because it makes me happy, which I know is not healthy. It's maladaptive. <laughs> what is that word? <laughs> maladaptive. Right. So that you were earlier and you were like, what? I have no clue what that means. No, I do. I just want to say, what does it mean? I just want to say, not, you know. It's not in your best interest. Okay. It's not. Moving uh, forward. When you just said that eating cookies on the holidays, I just realized I made an excuse of eating bad in the summertime. And I've also made an excuse eating bad <laughs> during the holidays. Most people are like, it's the summer. So I'm I'm on a diet now. Oh, <laughs> Most really? people are like, yeah. starting in March, they're like, oh, bikini body no, now. <laughs> no, my summer runs into... Yeah, yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm doing bad, and my summer runs into September. I'm like, well, it's pretty close to Halloween and the holidays, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep on going. And the holidays, I balloon up, and then like I basically have January to March <laughs> where I really buckle down. <laughs> <The> fitness, <laughs> fitness. I'm fitting fitness like workout routine into three months out of the year. That's what I'm doing. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm 90 days here, man. I'm By just, that standard, yeah. You're- Incredible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> should I do a sober October with uh, you do Bert a and all them? October. Oh my God, that's the worst. No, it's not the worst month to do it. Just the end of the month, because you yeah. know how. I, if I can just give. Well, also we're going to see Bert again in October. We I'm are. definitely going to drink that night. Yeah, but he definitely won't be drinking. Yeah, well, that's that's him. That's not me. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not like we're hanging him. out with him or anything. But no. I mean, it's a. Uh, uh, but well, I mean, you feel inspired by his sober energy or no? Maybe if, if I put it this way, if I was like hanging out with him mm-hmm. and he wasn't drinking, I wouldn't drink around him and be like, like a party animal mm-hmm. or whatever. Party boy. Um, but, uh, uh, I would probably break my break the sober October right at the end. I'd have yeah. to. Yeah. 
yeah, you get so much enjoyment out of Halloween. Oh my god, I love Halloween, Halloween in our your, place. Yeah, one of your top five favorite holidays. Yeah, I used to hate it. I, when we were in Vegas, I used to hate it. Yeah, because it was just so much stress. I'm like, which party are you gonna go to? Which sexy party? Blah blah. blah. And it was just like everybody nobody knew what they wanted to do and it was just like yeah but i i like the family aspect of it mm-hmm. watching the kids come and yeah. uh get candy and the trick or treating and, awesome. and how happy our kids Sitting are out doing with the it. neighbors is awesome that yeah. is the best yeah yeah so all that just to say it's not fair for me to be like oh if i could do anything i'd make you heavier because i know that doesn't make you happy it's a stress on your body. It's bad for your joints. It makes you not feel as confident when we go out somewhere. Yeah. So it's not cool, man. I got to buy new clothes all the time. Depending on what, it's okay. So if you take that out of it, what's something? Is there something else? I don't have the best patience in the world. Maybe would you change that? Would you be like, uh, I don't know, man. You wouldn't be who you are if you were any different. Thank you. So I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I would. I would just make you more you. <laughs> You're as perfect as can be. I would let you <laughs> receive blowjobs more. <laughs> oh my I god! Could change Samesies. Anything about you. <laughs> uh, That's I, not fair. I saw somebody lost. on. I saw somebody on IG tonight because you know obviously we're pretty sexual and we're open about it. It's not that big deal, but I see some like creators on IG. They're like husband and wife creators. The one you know the ones I hate watch all the time, yeah. but now I kind of like them. But mm-hmm. in the beginning, I was like, ah, they're so annoying. <laughs> but now I'm like, <laughs> well, I see like like they were doing some dance or whatever, and uh, it was like a what are you looking at? It, they were doing some dance and it was like really like sexual. And I'm like, oh, look at them. Yeah. <laughs> I was proud of them. I'm like, go, way to go, guys. You're really growing up. You're really I feel growing like I'm up. Here for yeah. It. You're really growing up. I'm dead. You know where this is headed. You know where this is headed. <laughs> yeah. I'm dead. All right. Well, we got to like drive it. the kids to school in the morning, right? Yep, yep. Should have already been in bed, sir. All right, so you set a rule, not a rule, but a, um, you said this is the last cast until the podcast room is set up, right? I was frustrated earlier, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. With the lack of a But it should be soon. Progress. I mean, dry, drywall yeah. is being mudded and taped tomorrow. And not tomorrow. There's, there's a bunch. That, it's a big construction project, so it'll be the whole week. Yeah. Um, floors <clears throat> after that it's framing not framing uh trim, trim. like door trim putting mm-hmm. all the doors and then floors and then doors, once those are in floors. it's just paint and all the electrical and plumbing to be like roughed in yeah yeah it's exciting i know all that just to say we we're about to have an actual dedicated podcast space yeah so lucky every seven of our viewers <laughs> so much more there's like two thousand <laughs> subs there's two thousand people that care what we say i, I like it they, maybe they don't care maybe they just <laughs> maybe they just love you they just love me and they hate watch me okay. i will take every <laughs> single one of you out for a drink <laughs> if you see me anywhere just be so like true. hey do you want to have a drink i'll be like uh yeah oh 100 percent. a hundred percent i will absolutely drink with everybody i love it Cheers, yep. boo. Cheers. All right. Well, good podcast. I hope uh, we didn't bore everybody too much. I know. We might be able to squeeze one more in before uh, the studio. If I could change anything about you, you'd be less persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else mm-hmm. we have to say? You know what I haven't done is do, uh, you know, I used to do the Mr. Sykes recommendations. I know. Is you had anything? some show recommendations, but I was thinking when you said that, I would love to hear your product recommendations. Is there a product? I feel um, like we've been getting burned, but we're having to get stuff for our new construction. Like we got some fans and one of them doesn't work. Yeah. Um, I feel like we've just kind of been Things aren't getting, built like they used to. <laughs> <It's not like laughs> getting crapped on by um, new products. The, the new cameras we use, they're 10, but there's the Mevo. Yeah, that's pretty Me- legit. Yeah, I'm using those are them on good. stream too. Yeah, you've been streaming them and they stream mm-hmm. wirelessly. So if you can, if you, if you got a good wireless connection mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff, uh, um, yeah, you were, uh, ooh, you just yawned. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll take that off. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, you stream literally. You stream wirelessly and run it from an iPad, and it comes through perfect 1080p. That's really cool. Yeah, it's actually really cool. Yeah. Um, I would probably recommend those for anybody in the um, filming, streaming, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like we have three cameras set up right here. I don't mm-hmm. know if you can see. Uh, like they won't be able to see them, but. Um, yeah, it's uh, all mm-hmm. being recorded, backed up on an SD card, yeah. on an iPad, and then literally, I I could have I could have just actually switched cameras throughout I think that, that, but, would it, have but distracted it distracted you me from the conversation, maybe. But so it's recorded on the iPad and it's recorded on all the SD cards, mm-hmm. and yeah, I, that's gonna be my good stuff. We put it in the uh, Mevo description. Multicam, I will. Mevo Multicam, cool. All right, let's get to bed. Good stuff. Hey, Mr. do you want to sex tonight? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs>